but JT, if you wouldn't mind throwing up that graphic, I, after the game, had to do this by hand because, again, the home and away splits on all the stat websites I use, it it's, first of all, when the game just happened, it's not, those websites don't yet include the stats from this game, which is annoying. But also, they're going to include home split data for that Ravens game, the London game, in the home side. And so it, it skews the numbers. So I, I went by hand, calculated these numbers, and I want, if you're not, if you're just listening with us via the podcast after um, Sunday night, if you're not listening to this live, go to YouTube, Broadway Sports Media's YouTube page, pull up this live stream or the, the the replay of the live stream or the video to find the actual visual of this chart because it's a lot of numbers about to uh, throw at you and it's going to be tough to keep up with if you're not looking at it in person. But this is a chart of Titans home and away stats. Uh, the splits are pretty astonishing, JT. Some simple ones that aren't shocking at all, right? Tennessee at home is averaging 24.75 points per game, just under 25 points per game. Away, they are averaging just over 12 points per game, so less than half. Their opponents, they are allowing at home to score 15 points on average. On the road, they are allowing nearly 24 points. Um, so that's, you know, that's reflective of the fact that they're winning at home and losing on the road. Also reflective of wins and losses is the total yards at home. Tennessee is out gaining their opponents on average per game, 345 yards to 288 on the road. They're being out gained 249 to 362. But then we get into some more detailed statistics, and this is really where we paint the picture of what is going wrong. And, and I don't want to mislead anybody. We're not going to, I'm not going to go through all these numbers. And then at the end, give you the, 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 the key to what exactly is the reason behind the Titans playing better at home than they are on the road. It's an enigma, man. I don't know. Like I, it, they're Superman at home. And then if they're not at home everywhere, every other stadium in the NFL universe is kryptonite. I, I, I it's, it's the little things, right. And, and it's hard to say it's a coincidence and, and there's not more to it. Maybe it is true that this Titans team is just a little bit soft. Maybe it's true that they don't travel very well. And if you think that's the case, whatever you think the case is, give me your best theories in the comment section right now if you're listening with us live as to what you think is the main issue for this Titans team uh, on the road as opposed to at home. But it's it's a lot of little things, right, JT? It's the red zone efficiency. It is the ability to sustain drives. It is the ability to stay on schedule. It is the turnover differential. So let's look at some of those numbers, right? The first of these statistics that really jumps out off the page is that turnover differential at home, a plus one turnover di differential. And this is for a team, by the way, that we've talked about in recent episodes is near the bottom of the league in terms of turnovers given away, which is good, and turnovers taken away by your defense, which is bad. So they've not a lot of turnovers to speak of at all in this Titans uh, season from them or their opponents. But there have been a couple, and at home, they have a plus one turnover differential. That's a recipe for success. On the road, JT, minus five. They're giving the ball over, far, giving the ball away far, far more often on the road. And that's recipe for losses. So that's a part of it. Another part of it, their red zone efficiency. This is this was staggering to me because I knew in my head, anecdotally, like, yeah, they're scoring more touchdowns at home. They're, they're, they're being more efficient in the red zone at home. I didn't know it was this bad until I sat down pen and paper, jotted it out. At home, Tennessee is 8 for 11 in the red zone, 73%. That's amazing. That would be first in the league right now. It'd be first in the league most seasons. It would be even significantly better than their top of the league average the past couple of seasons that we're talking about all the time, where it's like, where'd that team go? They were so good at it. This would be even better than that. 73% uh, is, is a number that's so crazy. You're like, if we were talking about this Titans team actually being at 73% through like three or four games of the year, we'd say that's unsustainable. That's going to regress dramatically. Like, there's no way you can't keep that up. That's crazy. Their opponents, in terms of the defense being you know stout in the red zone, allowing uh, field goals instead of touchdowns, their opponents are 5 for 10 in Nissan Stadium, which is a 50% clip. On the road, JT, so the Titans, 73% clip in the red zone at home. On the road, that drops down to 20%. They are 4 for 20 in the red zone on the road. 4 for 20! One in five times they get into the red zone, they find the end zone on the road. At home, it's three out of every four times. And their opponents aren't great on I mean, this is to, to go all the way back, folks that have been listening to the show every episode for a while now. You know that I've been on this. The Titans defense is not good this year. They are underperforming. And also, they've been doing enough to win these games for the Titans offense. Red zone efficiency, 
they've been pretty good on the road, allowing their opponents, again, the Titans have not won a game when they are not at home. So you'd think there'd be some real like, stinkers in there where teams were just in the red zone, automatic touchdowns. No, their opponents are 10 for 28 in the red zone, 36%. So the defense is actually a good deal worse in the red zone at home than they are on the road. And yet the Titans offense is so aggressively bad. I mean, like the, the, the gif of the dumpster on fire floating down the river of a flooded street in like a hurricane. Like that's what this Titans offense is in terms of red zone efficiency on the road at home. They're perfect. They're little angels. They're amazing. They, they can't miss. They're so good. It, it's like, it's the, the, uh, um, uh, Oh, I'm totally blank on his name. The, the chef that everybody, like the very famous chef that always makes fun of people. You idiot sandwich. What's his Gordon name? Gordon Ramsay. Thank you. Yeah. I've totally blank on his name. Gordon Ramsay. It's like that meme where it's like, he's with the kids on the, the kids cooking yes. show. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, darling, sweet, beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Don't worry. It's just a mistake. And then it, it's with the adults. And he's like, you, donkey you idiot sandwich like that's what this team is home and away red zone efficiency on offense let's keep going right penalty yards this is an undisciplined group in general but on the road even more so at home they're averaging 44.5 penalty yards per game on the road 54.25 penalty yards per game so giving away yards that they shouldn't be giving away at a 10 extra yards clip per game first downs right at home tennessee averaging just under 20 first downs a game. Their opponents averaging uh, just over 17 first downs per game. On the road, Titans opponents are getting north of 20 first downs per game, and the Titans themselves are only getting just north of 15 first downs per game. And then finally, third down conversion, right? Stay, this, this is reflective of staying on schedule, getting into third and shorts, third and manageables, and converting, being efficient. At home, Tennessee converting at a 40% clip. They are 21 of 52 on third down at home. Their opponents, 14 of 54, which is 26%. So reflective of how well they've done on both sides of the ball on third downs at home. On the road, Tennessee drops down, matching that uh, opponent home number of 26%. Well, Tennessee on the road is 26% on third down, 21 of 80. Their opponents, almost 50% on third down, 47%. 46 and 97. So there's there's a couple of these that really, really, really tell the tale for me. It's that third down conversion rate, right? Both sides of the ball, that their efficiency and ability to stay on schedule. It's their turnover differential, hanging on to the ball. You, you're going to lose ball games when you give the ball away. And most of all, it's that red zone efficiency. It's reflective of their ability to protect the ball, their ability to be efficient in the red zone, and their ability to be efficient on third downs. And you can sprinkle in there the penalty yards because this is an undisciplined group. So this is, I think, really eye-opening to me. It is it is crazy how Jekyll and Hyde this team is home and away. They are truly a different team at home. And we asked a couple of the players and coaches after the game today, like, what's going on? Why is that the case? Huh? As Joseph in the comments says, I guess on the away games, they just forget to coach better and play better. That's got to be what it is, Joseph. Well done on your part. Um but we, I mean, Will Levis, we asked him and he said, I don't know. And clearly was at a loss for words and just said, I guess we have great fans, which is fun spin. Well done, Will.